In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of December the 19th, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the priestly division of Abijah. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both were righteous in the eyes of God, observing all, all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Once, when he was serving as a priest in his division's turn before God, according to the practice of the priestly service, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then, when the whole assembly of the people was praying outside at the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of fathers toward children, and the disobedient to the understanding of righteousness, to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel, who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce you this good news. But now you will be speechless and unable to talk, until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled at the proper time. Meanwhile the people were waiting for Zechariah, and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. When when he came out he was unable to speak to them, and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then, when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when he has seen fit to take away my disgrace before others. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we see how in the eyes of the Jews, being childless was a curse from God, something that, uh, that was a shame, notwithstanding that from time to time people could be sterile, barren, not being able to, to, to have children. But children were and are still today a blessing of God. Even though we might want to have children, we do not have a right to have children. That is, they are a blessing, they are a gift. No one is entitled for a gift. A gift is a gift, and especially one of love, which is exactly what a children is. We are not entitled to, to we have no right to, by our right, have a children. We should ask humbly God that he might grant us to have a children. What is it that I would like to talk to you today? Well, three persons. The first and the center is of course John the Baptist. John, Johanna, which, which means uh, God is gracious, is the sending of Eliah, resending of Eliah. But not today, not that day, to be as hard as it was before. Elijah, in his times, was very hard. He shut up the heavens so that there would be no rain, and there was a great famine. But this time, the Baptist, John the Baptist, even though he had very harsh words for those that were liars, for those that were, for the Pharisees that were hypocrites and all of that, nevertheless he announced the greatest miracle, God among us, 
the one who was to baptize us with the Holy Spirit. So he, as the angel foretold his father, he was and is a great joy for everyone. The second person that I would like to talk about is his father, Zechariah. Zechariah, a presbyter, um, presbyter of the old temple, a very old presbyter, a priest of God, was unable to believe the angel because his humanity drew him down. He could not believe that being an old man and his wife an old woman, there could be such a thing as a, as a child for them, out of their own uh, of their own selves. So he did not believe. He wanted to have assurances, notwithstanding that there was the angel of God, and he should have known him. But finally he became mute. And we can contrast that to the third person that I would like to talk to you about today, which is the Virgin Mary. Contrast an old man, an old priest, who has spent years and years in the service of God, but who is unable to open to the marvels of God. Contrast that to a young, very young lady, perhaps even as young as 13, 14 or 15 at the latest years old, who believed the angel, the very same angel, the angel Gabriel, the very same angel that told Zechariah that his wife was going to conceive, told the Virgin Mary that she was going to conceive, but her miracle is even greater, without parallel. You will conceive a child by the power of God, by the Holy Spirit. That would be inconceivable. That would be just incredible, just fantastic. No one of us can even believe that. Can, I mean, we can't understand that. Of course, we have to believe it. But if we were told for the first time, it would be very difficult for us to believe that God would do that. Nowadays, when we know a little bit more of God, we believe, of course. But let us just go back to the time, and it would be very interesting. It would be very difficult. And nonetheless, because the Virgin was full of the Holy Spirit, she was able to believe, to be faithful. She is also, for you and me today, our model. Let us pray to the Lord that we might not behave like Zechariah, that even though he knew apparently God for a long time, he was not able to trust him. In the end, faith is trust. For faith must be shown as faithfulness, and we will not be faithful to anyone unless we trust Him. Let us pray humbly to God that He might increase our faith in Him, that He might increase the knowledge that we have of His love, so that we might be prepared for the Nativity this year. May the Lord be with you, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.